Hey Toy Fans, D21 Beast here, and I've got some pretty exciting news. A lot of you guys out there probably already know, but I just caught up on it myself. There was a Marvel Legends panel at New York Comic Con 2015, or I guess an event leading into New York Comic Con. I don't think it's officially started yet, but Hasbro showed off some Marvel Legends for next year, and we got some expected uh, Legends announced for Captain America Civil War, and I think they've officially dubbed the next wave Captain America Civil War coming out early next year. We saw Mockingbird displayed again in Taskmaster, the figures we already knew about from San Diego Comic Con of this year, but they actually showed us some new Legends we hadn't yet seen. Um, among them was a new Sharon Carter figure. Now, we had had a Sharon Carter in a two-pack as a variant with Maria Hill, I believe, uh, what, back in 2009 or sometime around then. But this is going to be a newer figure. looks like it's reusing some of those Maria Hill uh, body parts, and uh, she's in a white shield outfit. It looks actually really good. Uh, we also have announced for that wave, Cottonmouth. Looks like the second Serpent Society figure that uh, we're going to be getting to go along with the Constrictor that we got, what, back in 2012 now? This figure does appear to be on the body sculpt for Grim Reaper that's also being reused for Captain America in that same wave. The paintwork on this guy looks pretty interesting so far. I didn't read a lot of Captain America before Ed Brubaker started writing, so I'm aware of the Serpent Society, but I don't know all of the members in depth. Uh, but certainly an interesting looking character and be cool to kind of fill out the rest of your Serpent Society villains. I guess they're going to start moving towards that. We also get a Marvel Legend of Scourge, and you'll have to forgive me for not recognizing this guy at all. He kind of reminds me of the jury that held Spider-Man on trial back in the 90s, but, you know, he's silver and black instead of the green and silver color scheme that those guys had. A really cool looking figure, and he's got some great accessories, it looks like. Then they announced Whirlwind, which really excites me. I know the show was bad, but I was a big fan of the 90s Iron Man animated series, and I would love that we got Blizzard this year. Uh, I've still got the Toy Biz Mandarin figure. Sadly, I was never able to build the Build-A-Figure Modoc. Hopefully, Hasbro will give us another chance at doing that. But I'm definitely going to get this Whirlwind figure. I'm not going to sleep on that at all. Pretty excited about that. And then, the biggest surprise I think I've seen come out of this panel so far is that we got a new Rogue figure announced. And it's not that Rogue uh, featuring her X-Men Legacy outfit, the green and white one, that kind of still used in the Uncanny Avengers right now. This is the Jim Lee 90s Rogue. So we are getting a full redo of that 90s Rogue figure with a much better looking head sculpt. Appears to be on the Miss Marvel body, Miss Marvel, Moonstone, Spider-Woman, that sort of body mold. Uh, in the photos anyway, she looks really, really good. So I'm super excited to see this figure coming out. Thank God she doesn't have heels on her feet, so that's even better. Uh, it'd be great if we got a flight stand with this character, but the cherry on top is that Hasbro actually announced that they are going to be doing an X-Men wave of Legends sometime around the middle of next year uh, to coincide with the release of X-Men Apocalypse, even though they're not acknowledging that connection and the toy line itself will not feature any characters from that movie for understandable reasons. But really cool that we're going to get a complete X-Men wave of figures. Oh, and they were also asked if it's going to be exclusive like the Toys R Us wave was, which was frankly really hard for me to track down. Um, and I'm sure for a lot of you other guys out there, but they know they said this is going to be a wave of X-Men Legends available uh, everywhere. And so that's really exciting. Uh, I'm First, I got to say I'm super stoked that we're getting X-Men Legends, period. I really thought that we were going to have to wait much longer before we saw more X-Men Legends. But to see that we have this rogue figure coming, that excites me. And with Deadpool and Gambit coming out next year, I wouldn't be surprised to see if we get new comic book versions of both of those characters thrown into this wave. So uh, I guess we can predict who the other characters are going to be with Age of Apocalypse coming out next year. Maybe we'll finally get that Age of Apocalypse Jean Grey figure that was never released. Who knows? But I am super excited about this. The moment I can pre-order this entire wave, I'm going to. But really, I'm just super excited for all of this Legends news. Some A lot of great surprises here that I wasn't expecting. I mean, X-Men Legends, can you believe it? I can't stop going on about it. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself at this point. But I definitely wanted to share the news with you guys. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If any other news shows up, I'll definitely be talking about it on my Twitter feed at the very least. Maybe if we get enough news at one time, I'll go ahead and do another video like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.